Right. I realise that isn't the most exciting holding screen, right? I know I normally put like the title screen up with some music on or something. Gives it a bit of bit of flavour. Um but <laughs> there isn't a title screen because it's just a demo. So I loaded it up and I was like, right, brilliant. Um and then it just launches straight into the opening cutscene. So I thought I'd better just quit and then and so you can just look at Steam big picture for five minutes. <laughs> Hello everyone. Hello Shy, hello Cosmonaut. Um hello Naila Ben. Hope you're all doing it's relatively okay. Um Yeah, so tonight we're gonna play the demo of Lord Winkle Bottom Investigates. Which is uh the full game's not out yet. It's been in development for a few years, I believe. Um, oh, GT Rat. Um, I believe this is all being made by one person. Um, I, was, I was looking on Twitter earlier. She's worked at like a bunch of studios and then decided to go it alone and has been working on this exclusively for a, a couple of years, I think. Um, but um, yeah, I'm, uh, I'm excited. And it, and it fits with my bullshit thing of being an animal detective game i've realized i'm sort of running out now um having sort of initially decided that there was loads of animal based detective games and then realizing that they're only really good for a stream if they've got voice acting because i really want to do aviary attorney um and but there's it's just loads of dialogue and it's all just and i can't do voices for all of them anyone who watched the fucking Oh my god, what was it called? That um that romantic fiction one I did on the iPad. I nearly died doing all the voices for that. So I can't do a, a, like an entire game of that. It'll just absolutely kill me. So Oh my god, you played this Eject 2019. I don't think I can even remember that far back. I don't think that's real. I don't think that, <laughs> that ever existed. I don't <laughs> Um I could get Oh my god, if I could get Maybe that's how we do it. If James voices, <laughs> because up so Avery attorney, there's um, there's an attorney and then there's his assistant, and they're both birds, obviously. God, if I could get James on and and he did the assistant and I did the detective, fuck me, that would be amazing. I don't know if he'd be up for that though. Um, Right, let's let's crack on. I will just I'll warn you all now. Right, I'm going to turn the game audio down a bit because I loaded this up, and it pretty much goes straight into a uh, goat screaming. So we'll just <laughs> it's going to be absolutely fine. <clears throat> Made with Unity. Demo is an early look at a work in progress game. The final game will feature updated audio, additional languages, a hint system, and lots more. I will probably need the hint system. Hey, Pubis, thank you for the sub. Wings. But, uh, uh, Paul McCartney work on this. <clears throat> Maybe he did the soundtrack, like um, that amazing song he did for Destiny. I am, um, unfortunately, ah, that's... I know it means the language, but <laughs> having a Union Jack and then, and then English on it. Dicey. Dicey. Oh my god. Don't say you weren't warned. Oh my god, he's dead. The master's dead. <laughs> he's an axolotl in a silk dressing gown. I love it. a fine silhouette Hello, in the window. Grumble. That was quite the case, wasn't it? Oh, indeed so. Already made the evening edition, don't you know? I picked up a copy when I went to buy the boat ticket. We'll be quite the heroes, I think. Hopefully they don't dwell too much on the part where one of the weasel gang cracked you over the head with a pool cue and nearly made off with all the gold, eh? Huh. Wretched blighter called me from behind. Just not cricket, is it? Still, all worked out in the end, my friend. And just in time, too, as we have this party with Admiral Gilfrey to attend. Look, who is this chap anyway, Winklebottom? Guilford is an old school friend of mine, top of his class, went on to become an admiral, then latterly undertook a number of privately funded expeditions to all four corners of the globe. Ah, oh, bit of a swat then, eh? 
We have no time for his sword at my school. Evidently so, my friend. <laughs> right, let's get this boat ticket and be on our way. Where is the ticket anyway, Frumple? Oh, I slipped it in the newspaper for safekeeping. Cool, so we actually get to do investigating. Because that was the thing with chicken police, right? No actual, I don't know, finding clues and shit. Winklebottom cracks the case. A touch sensational, but they appear to have got most of the salient facts correct. Never mind all that. What did it say about me? Ah, well, let me see. Yes, here it is. Lord Winklebottom was assisted, as ever, by his associate, Mr. Frumple. Mr? Dash it all. I didn't spend eight years in medical school just to be called Mr. Bunch of bloody hacks. It's actually James well, Farley. Now, old boy, we have to get going if we're to catch this boat before nightfall. No, I'm quite vexed now. I shan't leave until I've had a fresh cup of tea to calm me down. This one's practically tepid. Oh, very well, I'll make you a fresh cup. The pot should be ready now. Ah, here's the ticket. I'll keep hold of this for now. So I've got to make from pulp another cup of tea. For the good doctor. I realise this is basically just the tutorial, right? And in with the tea. Does he take milk? I think he did. Take this. Good for the old bones, you know. It's true. It's very true. And it's delicious. Bit of milk. Not in things, just on its own. Put the milk in the cup. <coughs> Here you are then, a nice fresh cup of tea. Ah, that's much better. I say, this tastes a bit off. Did you put the tea in first or something? Oh, don't give me that, no, Frumple. Wrong. Wrong? Wrong? What sort of animal do you think I am? A most fine one, my friend. Come along, we need to be off. The ticket says we are to meet a Mr. Walters at the docks, and he'll sail us out to Giltry's Island. Oh, very well. I suppose this will have to do. Tea first, I ask you. Can't believe Dr. Frumple's ah, a milk first guy. Sea air. It takes me back to my childhood holidays on the coast with Gilfrey. Even then, you could tell the old boy was destined for a life on the waves. Don't much care for it myself. Went on a ghastly school trip to Blackpool as a lad. <laughs> Tried to go on a donkey ride. Donkey was furious. He told me I was too heavy. Wretched fellow. Well, never mind that now, old boy. We need to find the docks and this salty Walters chap who's going to take us over to Gilfrey's Island. I wish that was... Sorry, going back to Winklebottom's first comment there. Imagine if that was a thing that people said about you. Destined for a life on the waves. Yeah, have you met... You met Sean? Yeah, oh, he's, he was destined for a life on the waves, him, wasn't he? Oh, it's, yeah, it's obvious. It's just... <laughs> Hello, Woodfella. Glad you're enjoying the dialogue. Uh, right. It does, that is what, I don't know if any of you have ever met a landlord. Some of you might be a landlord. If you are, that is what you look like. <laughs> Every single Maybe one. in your bleeding crooked canine. Oh, uh, hello, sir. Sorry. In a bit of a jam here. A good day to you, sir. If bleeding well isn't a good day, that reprobate Walters has locked me out of my own pub. I do apologise, sir. I shouldn't take it out on you, like. But he's going to drive me out of business if I don't get back in there to stop him. Indeed so. Quite the predicament. So this is your establishment, I take it? Indeed so, sir. Used to be my father's. But I took it over as the oldest of the litter. We do a good trade serving the sailors and dock workers, even if you have to put up with less savoury characters from time to time. I say, Winkle Bottom, I do hope he's not talking about the chap who's meant to sail us out of the island. Probably. Can we help you get the door open? I'm rather afraid I have business with this Walters fellow. He's bleeding well gone and locked the door from the inside. And my spare key is in my bedroom on the top floor. How am I meant to get up there? Well. Sounds rather like your forte, eh, what? Mm. I do have a certain talent for retrieving things from high places, yes. Big oh, old bleeding mind, giraffe. Sir. It's a window on the right up there. Not the left one, that leads to the hallway. And we had it sealed up as it lets a proper terrible draft in right through the pub. We'd catch our death if you open that one. I mean, the temptation to open the left one is massive. <laughs> oh, here we go. Oh, look, there's some jewellery. Shall I just nick that? Lord Winklebottom committing common larceny? Most certainly not. Why not? It'd be funny. 
Oh, oh. oh he's still I there. I see them, but they're rather frustratingly out of reach. Maybe if you weren't trying to keep the pipe in your gob at the same time. Lord Winklebottom. Okay, so we definitely can't steal the jewellery. That I can't reach the keys. That boat ticket's going to be no good. There's nothing else to click on. Right. Hello, ICOJ. This is Lord Winklebottom Investigates. It's only a demo. Um... A number Some of barrels. barrels. They all seem to be sealed up and in use. Uh, more barrels. Barrels. Yeah, same. Has Dr. Frumple still got his cup of tea? companion and colleague, Dr. Reginald Frumple. It's going to be like... Um, uh, Julian from Trailer Park Boys. <laughs> One of the old English kings lost his head in the Great Frog War, if I remember my history. Careless, if you ask me. Right, I need some uh, bottle. Speaking of litter, eh? Very public spirited. No, it's a puzzle piece, mate. <clears throat> I don't know how this is going to work. I'd oh. So I definitely can't. No, right, fine, fine, fine. I can see them, but they're rather frustratingly out of reach. The bottle doesn't really help, does it? What if I use the bottle on no, the jewelry? I don't think <laughs> I have reservations about doing this. Okay. Uh, okay. The yeah, the the dialogue needs properly mastering, doesn't it? Um, the little disclaimer at the start did say the final game will, game will have better audio. Um, I assume that's partly what they're referring to. Um, I'm not. I'm sorry. I'm I'm already sinking into the combine everything with everything thing. All right, can I just go to the docks? Okay, here we go. Here we go. Now we're talking. Box of tools. Can no, I just steal that? We might be able to make use of this saw. Blimey. Not the friendliest chap, is he? <laughs> Certainly not. How can we scare him away? Can we throw a bottle at him? Probably not. Let's take this with us, just huh. in case. Got a rope. I say, old chap, a moment of your time. I do actually really like the way the characters are illustrated. They look really nice. Greetings, my good man. Good day to you. What can I do for you? I mean, it's very obviously just two people doing all the voices, right? Or maybe one person, now that I think about it. I have a ticket for conveyance of myself and my colleague here with a Mr. Walters. I, I wonder if you know the gentleman. Oh, that layabout. Oh, I know him all right, but you'll not be going anywhere with him until he pays his docking fees. Nobody leaves this dock without my say-so. No docking fee, no permit to leave. I say, Winklebottom, this Walters fellow sounds like a phleggy sort of character, what? Does a bit. Well, can we discuss this permit? How might we obtain a permit to allow us to leave the dock? Well, you could get Walters to pay his docking fee, but that's not likely to happen. Tell you what, I'm a bit short staff today, so if you help me with repairing this ship, I'll give you a permit. Manual labour? Don't much like the sound of that. I have a surgeon's hands, don't you know? God. Well, what can we do to help? I can do the actual work, but I've run out of wood. I need some planks or something. Very well, we shall obtain some wood for you. Also, this barrel of tar here is solidified. I don't need much, but I need a way to melt some of it. Some way to melt the tar, I see. Shouldn't be a problem for a genius like you, eh, what? Okay. Well, Let's see what... I mean, I need them tools, right? Because I need to... A boat hook. A boat hook. I can get the keys. With a boat hook. Got it all sussed. I feel like this this stream is gaining in popularity as everyone finishes watching uh, RuPaul's Drag Race. The finale. <laughs> right, here we go. Here we go. Ah, yes, this seems to be just the ticket. Perhaps I should keep this hook for collecting out-of-reach leaves. That's a good shout, Lord Winklebottom. Can I can I hook the jewellery? Lord Winklebottom can... Come on. Live a little. Do a crime. Right, here's your flipping keys, right, man. Then, this should do the trick. Thank you kindly, sir. Right, then. Let's see what that bleeder has been up to in my pub. Huh, wouldn't fancy being in that fellow's shoes, eh? Wasn't wearing any, doofus. 
some assistant you are. You're bleeding well paid for this, Walt. There's a lot of what you've done. This bleeding barrel is bleeding well empty now. Get out, yeah? An empty barrel, you say? Yes, now it's out of me business. I'd be leaving on my own time. I'd only take no orders from a landlubber like you. I say, Frumpel, this is the chap who's going to sail us to the island. Fellow looks like he's barely able to stand, let alone Look, sail a if ship. you need sailing somewhere, that's the look you're going for, for the person who's going to do it. That's the... <laughs> I'd be disappointed if they didn't look like that. Oh, that. I mean, that is quite a few beers he's put away. To be fair. Hey, you get your pilfering paws off those glasses. They be mine, you hear? They're not actually yours, are they? They're all empty. Right. Can I take the wooden barrel? I say, Barkeep, would you mind awfully if I took this empty barrel? You'd be doing me a favour. That beer-soaked bulldog has emptied it anyway. Damned if I can figure out where you keep all this stuff, Winklebottom. In your trouser pockets, mate. Um... Can I set fire to the rum? Get your bleeding hooves no. off. Uh, I mean, would you mind leaving that where it is, please, sir? Yeah. Ollie said, doesn't know those are data, these thieving bleeders. Yeah, you can't really bring your own drink into a pub, can you? Even if it is just a cup of tea. It's just not really... It's not on. The painting of a ship. It's perhaps not the most refined piece of artwork I've seen. Probably for the best. I wouldn't think anything valuable in this place. Not with their clientele. Yeah, that's a nice picture of a ship. Right, let's see what the oh, sailor's got to say for himself. Greetings, my good man. Well, spit it out. What be you wanting, stranger? I, I'll be honest, Pubius, this is making me want to just place the things a little bit. I get, like, I, I, don't, I don't think I've mentioned this on the show. So Chris and Cammy that I play Sea of Thieves with, we'd already been talking about having like a weekend away when when we're allowed to. Um, and it's and it's sort of changed from like, let's just like go somewhere nice in the countryside and eat nice food and play games and stuff to let's go somewhere where we can have a go on a big old boat. <laughs> because because um, I really like that. I mean, I know you won't, they won't actually let you do anything, but it'd be really cool just to like have, have a look around on a replica and stuff. Um, yeah, so we're all really keen to do that now. You are Salty Walters, I take it? That I am, and don't you be forgetting it neither. Then you are to take us to the Isle of Bargest. Oh my no, god, a live stream. Here with me drinks. I was I'll actually trying to sail. That would be amazing. I say, you rotter. You have tickets, you know. Pay for in advance. Nah. Right, so we're getting nothing out of him. Hello seems more Full than the worse for wear, thanks to all that beer. He'll be fine. <clears throat> right. Got some wood. I have no idea what these are for, but they look terribly nautical. Certainly do. That's what the landlord says. It's like, what's fire? I say, old chap, any chance of lighting the fire? There's a bit of a nip in the air, after all. I need to melt no some tar in, me. money, that does. And with that waste of space, drink me out of house and home, I need to save every last shilling. It'll have to get a lot colder here before I start a fire. I say, old boy, would you mind awfully letting us have that jug of rum you have sitting on the bar over there? Well, suppose you did help me get back in me pub. Fine, you can have the bleeding thing. On the ass, like. Oh, okay. Well, that's... Well, thank you for your time. All right. Thanks, uh... Okay, so what have I got? I've got a, an empty barrel, a boat hook, a rope, a bottle, and my ticket. I assume I can't just use the ticket for anything. Let's just open the other window. Now, let's see if we can't get this window open. Yeah, good shout, winks. It's no good. Stuck fast. Give it another go. Probably just been painted over. Well, if you say so, just one more. Smash it. Smash it. Yes! Oh dear. Well, I didn't go entirely according to plan. How awfully embarrassing. Still, got the job done, what? You know, I really do feel absolutely... Well, let's have a look. I'm not really sure. The plan is, get the rope through and just have a fish around with it. I don't know. Um, 
Tr chuck a bottle through it, boat hook. I want to open the window, not smash it. I should just use my hoo. You know, I really... Well, I tried opening you know, I it. I really do feel absolutely terrible about this. Oh, go back and ask for the fire, because it'll be cold now. Yes. Yes, pubis. I say, it is rather chilly in here, what? Oh, hello, logs yes, playing Sea of Thieves. Poseidon's drawers in here. Oh, for goodness sake, I'll have to light the bleeding fire now. You certainly will, landlord. Yeah. There we go. Right. How do I take fire to the tar? Do I, can I, was I able to pick up the, the tar? Let's go back. There's the tar, mate. Barrel this tar of tar. Is rock. Gone stun to fill these. This tar is gone stun. How do I get the fire here? Collection. Sure, they don't just set fire to the barrel. You know, <laughs> we might be able to make use of this saw. Yeah, and then we get shouted at. Blimey. So how do we get rid of him? Ah, uh, smell sea. that, my. Ugh, oh, disgusting stuff. Gone to bide sea water. Tried to swim in the sea on my holiday to Blackpool and I got a mouthful of the filthy stuff. Disgusting. Well, you should really keep your head above the water. He's got know. issues with Blackpool, Easy isn't he? My head is rather closer to my body than yours. No, I'll stick to good old fashioned wallowing, thank you very much. I mean, don't get me wrong, Blackpool's. Eh. Ah, perhaps this problems. is the vessel that Mr. Walters will be using to convey us to Guildfrey's Island. Dashed well, hope not. What with that blasted great hole in the side of it? We're gonna get that repaired, it's fine. Right. Blackpool, it's just, I don't know. No, right? I've had some really good times there. Um, it's just, I don't know, it's just an absolute relic in some ways. Like, the fact that you can just like be walking down the street and people will be like, oh, do you want to play a game and win a cuddly toy for your girlfriend? And you're like... What fucking year is this? What's going on? I don't... <laughs> it's just quite surreal. But, I mean, that's its whole thing, I guess. Um... Oh, can pick up the other bottle. I want this for, but what did I do? <laughs> what... How do I get the fire from here to out there? Can I just put a barrel on I the have fire? Reservations. Yeah, you're probably probably right there. So I've got two bottles. Can I combine I'm them? Really. No. I have re It's no good. Can I set fire uh, to the no. rope and then run it all the way to the back? <laughs> oh, I'm stuck. I say wrinkle bottom. My fellow looks like a bit of a bore. Eh hey, what? Ah. He's a yeah, it's very good from Bonker. <laughs> um, am I being thick? Oh, I didn't actually take the rum jug, did take I? take our reward with us. I have reservations. Okay, fine. Um, can I think I can give the rum to the seagull? And then maybe he'll go away. No, <laughs> The, a canoe weekend. No, it needs to be a, a big fucking ship to celebrate the great times we've had playing Sea of Thieves. Right. Here we go. Rum for the seagull. Here you are then, sir, some alcohol. Perhaps <laughs> this will quench your thirst. <laughs> I say, you need to rip your blasted hoop. Oh my god, he actually... actually just wanted the rum. What a lad. Look at that. <laughs> Well, that seems to have calmed him down considerably. Though I can't help but feel we aren't really helping the poor wretch here. Not supposed to be helping him, we're supposed to be getting him out of the way. Right, can I have the tools now? This fellow is... he there says, we go. Doesn't mind a bit. Too pissed. You know how when you're a kid and they say and they, they give you all this stuff about Oh well if you get involved in drugs, people might steal your shoes while you're on drugs. What we've just seen there. Do not drink rum during the day because people will steal your saw. Right? It's an important lesson. So, learn it. 
Right, saw, now empty I'm barrel. Hold on to the barrel and I'll attempt to chop it here up. Here we go, here we go. Careful where you're waving that thing. No other doctors around to patch me up if you slip, you know. There we are, got the wood. There you go. Will this do the job? Ah, yes, this will do nicely. I can use this wood for my repairs. Getting people to do other regional accents. Dicey, dicey stuff. Sorry. In Bristol, there's a few boats turned into restaurants. Holy shit. That sounds amazing. Is it amazing? Because, I mean, there's a few of them in Chester, and I don't, I don't think they're very good. <laughs> um, I could just call... Well, I, I wouldn't call Cammy, would I, Shy? Because that person's supposed to be Irish. Whereas, last time I checked, Cammy's Scottish. So that's... <laughs> Um, right, what do I... So I've done the wood. Great. Now the fuck? This tire is hard as rock. We can't stand the filthy stuff. Looks like... How do we... Ugh. Ugh. How do we set that on fire? Or just heat it up? I can't pick it up. What if I use the saw this seems on it? Oh, I don't know. What? To do. Ah, perhaps this is the Yeah, yeah, we've done that, we've done that, we've done that. Um, we've looked at the sea. Oh, if if, if Deadbeat Punk says they're the same accent, then that's fine. That's not <laughs> if he's alright with it. I say, Winklebottom, have a look at this tiny little boat. Wouldn't fancy my chances running across the sea in that thing, eh? Quite so. Might be our man. best bet, mate. Might be our best bet. Can we talk to the seagull now that you know he's what, hammered? Rumble, I'm rather inclined to leave this fellow alone now. Yeah, probably a good shout. Right now, what? <clears throat> Is there somewhere else I can go? King Snout. More barrels. Barrels. Docks. Where we've just been. <laughs> what can I set on fire? Shifty looking sort, if you ask me. What makes you say that? He seems like a perfectly fine gentleman to me. Can't rightly say. Something about primates. It's the eyes, I think. Something in them that's almost not animal. <laughs> uh, that's actually quite a good joke. <laughs> oh, there's a poker! Fucking the idiot! Is looking the other way, perhaps I might borrow this for a moment. I'll be sure to return it naturally. This fellow's probably used to things going walk about in this place anyway. So we can heat up the poker. Now to heat up this poker somewhat. Yes, that's done the trick splendidly. This has gone brilliantly. Be careful with that thing. Don't want to burn a hole in your breeches. That's a good point, Frumple. <clears throat> yeah, you'd think his tea would be basically room temperature by now, wouldn't you? Right then, Frumple, just watch this. Yes. The hot poker is melting through the tar like butter. Yummy. Oh, what a noxious niff. Let's get rid of this stuff quickly. It is a noxious niff. I say, old chap, a mo- oh, right. Well then. This tar is hard- Can't stand the filthy stuff. What? This tar is hard as- Can't stand- It's not hard as- I'm not- We just melted it. I say, old chap, a Salty water's permit. Well, can we... Well, I can do the act very well. We... Also, yeah. this barrel of tar here is solid of some way to melt the... Shouldn't be a problem for a... We melted it, though. How might we... Well, you could get Walters to... Find your labour, don't... But we melted right, it. From... We melted it! So what's the... I'd really rather not. This tar is hard... It's done. not hard... All right, is this a bug? Because I feel like... A collection... I feel like we've definitely done it. I say, old chap. So, permit. Well, can we discuss this permit? How can we help? Well, what can we do to... I can do the actual work, but I've run out of wood. I need some planks or something. Very well, we shall obtain some wood for Oh, it. do I need to, like, put it also in the bottles or something? The tar here is solidified. I don't need much, but I need a way to melt some of it. Some way to melt the tar, I see. Shouldn't be a problem for a genius. Okay. Right then. Can I... No, I don't think... No. Well, what then? 
This seems unlikely to be a fake. Oh, is it on the... Thank you. Sorry, that is my stupid is fault need. for it being tired and repair. stupid. Thank you for that, fellas. <laughs> now we can repair this hole in my boat. First class job. Um, I'm pretty sure that's the dev, by the way. Hello. Oh, nobody else <laughs> well, with that done, I'm finished for the day, so you're both free to go. Give this permit to Walters and let him know his debt is cleared. This time. Cool. Oi, what is it? Let's go, mate. I'm looking forward to sailing with this guy. He looks amazing. <laughs> I say, old boy, we have a permit here. You're free to leave the docks whenever you wish. Does that long neck of yours make you hard of hearing or something? I already said I'll not be leaving here while I still have me drinks. There's only all one left. It's just too much. You, sir, are a <laughs> cad, a, a bounder, a, a, a dash rotter, hang it all. Steady on there, old boy. Right. Now look here, you bounder. We have tickets, and you'll jolly well sail us out of that island, dash it all. Why you won't be sailing today? I drinks me beer to wash away the terrible taste of the salty seawater. Hates it, I does. I'll not be sailing again for a while, now that I've got that accursed taste out of me system. Can I... Ironic that a man named Salty should hate the taste of seawater, so <laughs> isn't it, Trample? Yeah, that's inconvenient, if you ask me. Can we well, goodbye, offer to me. put his beer in the bottles? I have reservations about No, <laughs> okay. Um. Oh, can the landlord yeah, can put some in yourself. bottles for us? I wonder what you can tell us about the sailor that's been slumped over that table over there. The bane of my bleeding existence, that's what he is. <laughs> He's cleared me out. Can you believe it? Drunk all me bleeding beer he has. Very bothersome, I'm sure. Well, thank you for your time. Very good, sir. Do pubs generally let you bring your own containers? <laughs> I've never tried. I'd really rather not. That's definitely the way to do it, though. What if I ring the bell? Do I get told off? Oh, a terrible siren song be that. Yes! Last orders are upon <laughs> us already. <laughs> Too right, mate. Yeah, don't be sneaking up. Now look here, you bounder. We have tickets, and you'll jolly well sail us out of that island, dash it all. Or you won't be sailing today. Ironically. Uh, okay, okay. Um, well, goodbye. Hello, seems. So hang on, if he knows it's last orders. Oi, what is it? You are salty. That I am, and don't you be. Then you are to take us to the. No, yeah, okay, I say you're okay. Nah. Yeah, okay, okay. Um, well, goodbye, what if I miss then? More than. Will he now let me put that in a bottle? No, I don't. <laughs> no, I don't. Okay, okay. Um, How can I help you, sir? You could get your name engraved on your own tankard. That sounds amazing. No, because some cafes and stuff let you bring your own cup, right? Because it's good for the environment. Um, but somehow I can't imagine pubs doing the same thing. Because you get people bringing in a glass that they claim is a pint. And it's fucking not. <laughs> you should drink Coca-Cola out of a tankard. Amazing. Well, thank you. Very good, sir. Uh, right, what am I I'm missing? Something. I'm missing a piece of the, the puzzle. Anyone got any ideas? And Cave Monsters, if you're still watching, don't, don't give it to us straight away. <laughs> um, I, I am also aware it says at the start that there will be a hint system in the full game. So cheers, because I'm stupid and I will need it. Um, grab the keg? What keg? Am I... am I... What am I not seeing? I don't want to ring the bell again. Oh, a terrible siren song be that. Last orders are upon us already. It's 
not achieving anything, though. Ah, it was but a false alarm. Oh, okay. How do we convince him that it's real? I say Winklebottom. Yes, yeah, very. Um. And I appreciate the offer. I'm, I'm determined to sauce this on my own. Can I attach a rope? I don't know what I... No, I don't even know what I'm thinking. I <laughs> um... Oh, I don't know. I don't know. Um... I don't think there's anything... Okay, the, the one hint... I will accept. Is it in this room, or do I still need to go elsewhere? Because that'll that'll save me <laughs> save me some time. Um, so he's hearing the bell, thinking it's last orders, and then he's going, "Oh no, it's false alarm." So how do I? Maybe that's not even relevant. outside. I don't think there's anything else. Oh, listen to what Salty says, okay. Well, yeah, because I know Salty said he won't leave until he's... Oi, what is it? Okay, let's just, let's just go through everything again. You are Salty Walters, I take it? That I am, and don't you be forgetting it neither. Then you are to take us to the Isle of Barghest. No, I be staying here with me drinks. I'll not be sailing today, not for you or anyone else. I say, you rotter. You have tickets, you know. Pay for in advance. Nah. Now look here, you bounder. We have tickets, and you'll jolly well sail us out to that island, dash it all. I won't be sailing today. I drinks me beer to wash away the terrible taste of the salty sea water. Hates it, I does. I'll not be sailing again for a while, now that I've got that accursed taste out of me system. Ironic that a man named Salty should hate the taste of seawater, so, isn't it, Frumple? Yeah, that's inconvenient, if you ask me. Hello, Mock Turtle Soup. We're trying to convince uh, this salty fella to sail us to an island, and he's not having it. I say, old boy, we have a permit here. You're free to leave the docks whenever you wish. Does that long neck of yours make you harder? Fill a bottle with seawater, I already maybe. said, I'll not be leaving here while I still have me drinks. I say this is just too much. You, sir, are a, a cad, a, a bounder, a, a, a dash rotter, hang it all. Steady on there, old boy. Yeah, I think you might be right. Well, goodbye then. Fellow seems more than a little worse for wear, thanks to all that beer. Let's salt him up. I don't know if they're all voiced by one person or two people. But yeah, right, the sea. Oh, do I? It's okay. So, do I need to put a rope on the bottle? It's no good. A rope. I can't get any purchase on the smooth glass bottle. Maybe the jug. I've tied the rope through the handle of this. Yes, here we go. Now I'll lower the jug down on this rope, and yes, we now have a jug full to the brim of salty seawater. Cool. I'm not really. No, fine. I think the bottles might just be nothing to do with anything. That's fine. <clears throat> right, salty. You're getting salted, Not mate. Really? Okay. Well. What be ye playing at? Get out away from me, beer. Uh, probably should. Sorry, I'm gonna need to distract the old curmudgeon if we're to get near his drink. Ring the bell. Oh, a terrible! Quickly, while he's not looking, just pour this into his beer. Yes, here we go. Ah, <laughs> what be this foul flavour? Me last beer is ruined and that pickaroon pig won't sell me no more. So I take it you might now be willing to carry out your job? No reason not to now. Maybe the Admiral can see his way to providing me with a bit of the old grog. Go way back, him and me. Shall we meet at the docks then? Aye, I'll be waiting in me vessel. 
Make it quick, mind you. Cool. Uh, yeah, but uh, <laughs> I think I've said this several times now, but I'm very aware the disclaimer at the start mentions. We must make haste and get out of the island before it hits. I'll see this being in progress and the audio and stuff, but. But I'm, I'm having a really nice time playing this. <laughs> don't tell me we're actually going sailing in that. Wait, you don't mean this is your ship? <laughs> Aye, that'd be. You know what <laughs> I just don't think it looks particularly seaworthy. Amazing. She's a fine vessel. Served me on many a long voyage, she has. Besides, I'd be the only sailor in dock right now, so you don't have a choice. That's not terribly reassuring. Should we set sail for the island, then? Aye, that we will. Only permits are in order, so all aboard for the Isle of Barkis. I mean, that weather's not not encouraging, is it? <laughs> oh, God. I wonder, so is this the end of the demo, or is there more to it? I mean, I'm quite happy either way. This is last... I thought this might just be like a 20-minute thing. Okay, cool. I should, <laughs> Sorry, I'm just looking at the chat. I should say, Cave Monsters, I'm aware that's not your real name. I can't remember what your real name is, so I'm just going to call you Cave Monsters. I don't know if this needs explaining. So, TCGS, or the computer game show, is a podcast. And one of us, James, we've had like a running thing for a, a couple of months now that we really want him to voice a character in a game. It doesn't have to be like a big part. But if you are looking for people, and I'm pretty sure he'll do it for free. <laughs> um, so if you are looking, give us a shout, because that would be amazing. Um, Charlotte, hello, sorry. <laughs> cool. I think, hang on, where's my mouse cursor gone? Is that just this? Okay, cool. Um, that was really good. I really like that. Um, <laughs> okay, there we go. All right, yeah, back to the start. Um, yeah, wicked. I I believe this is out this year. Um, although obviously COVID being what it is, I don't think anything has like a firm release date at the moment. Um, but yeah, I'm I'm excited. I really like that. Um, how long have we been going? Forty eight minutes. I mean that's. That is a, that's a stream, isn't it? Oh my God, I'm definitely going to email you. Thank you so much. That's, <laughs> this is very exciting. Um, yeah, um, I mean, I'm quite tired, so I'll probably call it a stream. So next week, we're going to play, hang on a minute, let me, let me find it. Um, I haven't bought it yet, but I've been told it's very good. <clears throat> it is called... Where is it? How do you just search for things? On... Oh, there we go. The big button that says search at the bottom. Later alligator. Oh, there is actually a demo of it as well. Um, uh, yeah, this looks absolutely class. And it has been recommended to me by... I think it was Ryan from Kane and Rinse mention this however no i'd have to read out all the dialogue so but it looks great hang on i just want to try that recommendation from toby fox mini games Right side, Dave never he won't even watch this, he'll never know. God, 
it's actually got functioning pinball. And a <laughs> recommendation from Neil Sisiago. Why not? Get the idea. So that'll be next week, I think. Either that or Aviary Attorney. I don't know. Um, but yeah, either way, it should be a good time. So, um, yeah, uh, uh, thanks uh, so much for watching this. Um, I, am, I am wondering if Thursday nights are just not a good fit because I feel like every time I do one of these, I'm just absolutely knackered, um, presumably due to being towards the end of the working week, I guess. Um, <laughs> but, um, yeah, I reckon if we do, we do one more animal detective game, and then I've had an idea for another streaming series. But it's a secret. Shh. Um, it's another stupid gimmick, though. Don't worry. Um, <laughs> but, yeah. Um, so, yeah. I'm, I'm going to take off, I think. Um, thanks for watching. Thank you, Charlotte, for stopping by. That was really cool. Um, and I will definitely email you about getting James a role in the game because that would be absolutely amazing. Um, so yeah, um, it's Farley streaming tomorrow. As far as I'm aware, yes. Um, and then I don't know if Dave's doing some... Oh no, Saturday. I don't know if we've announced this. Um, Saturday, if you're a $10 patron, we're going to do the talks over. Um, we've had... A, I think it's going to be a bit of a medley. Um, we <laughs> we thought it'd be cool to do some talks overs of um, like VHS cover mounts from game magazines. Um, but it turns out the only two that I remembered, the Donkey Kong Country one, which is great, but it's only 15 minutes long. And there was the N64 magazine one. Um, but that was, it's like 40 minutes, but the second half of it is just really boring. It's just like really, like it's just loads of footage, um, from, from games, but just like, here's like five solid minutes of pilot wings footage or whatever. And it's really not that interesting. So, but yeah. Uh, if you're a $10 patron, that'll be Saturday night, one way or the other. Um, the VHS mag click. Oh, I don't think I know what that is. I don't think I'm familiar with that. Would we get done for doing it as a talk over? I don't, I don't know. Um, yeah, send us a link. Appreciate that. Um, but yeah, obviously, you're a $5 patron. So we're going to do the bonus podcast on the same night. So you'll get that probably early next week. Um, but yeah, I was from 30 years ago. Yeah, probably be all right then, eh? <laughs> we did find, when we, so we were looking through stuff. Um, there is, I didn't realise there is like a fully edited run of Night Trap, but just like, it's like full screen. So it's just like a 40 minute film. Um, but it's absolutely horrific because it's just 40 minutes of basically all like it's not like a good playthrough so it's just all the the women all getting abducted and stuff and it's just really horrible to watch so i sort of went in and be like oh this will be like funny and rubbish and it's just horrible so never mind um but yeah sunday night off monday night recording matt's not going to be on the show next week i don't think i can't remember if he said last week but um yeah so i think i think we're just going to barely talk about games and just have a silly one Possibly, <laughs> but we'll see. Um, so yeah, thank you so much for watching. I will catch you next week um, or on Saturday, maybe. Um, but yeah, take care of yourselves. I hope you're not feeling too shite. The sun's coming out a bit. I heard some bird song the other day and I felt like my brain was being rewired. It was really weird and, and good. I quite liked it. Um, <laughs> but yeah, um, I will see you either Saturday or at some point in the future. Um, thanks very much. Ta-ra.